Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to go over bits and pieces of the Dragalia Digest. I'm not going to go over everything, only the important stuff, so I still recommend that you guys watch the original video if you haven't already, alright? So the first announcement is the Agito Uprising, which is a brand new endgame content. It was advertised to be harder than Hydrating Trials, but we didn't know if Psygames meant that Agito would be more difficult than Standard, Expert, or Master Side Dragons. I assumed that Agito would just be slightly harder than standard high dragons because expert high dragons weren't even out yet during Agito's announcement. But anyways, the first boss of many is Volk. He's coming out on the 25th or 26th depending on your time zone. It says at the bottom that you must clear any of the high dragon trials on standard difficulty in order to participate in this fight, so go do that if you haven't already. They showed off some gameplay of standard Volk and it doesn't look that hard. Like in the middle clip, it shows Naveed getting hit by one of the tornadoes and he only took about 600 damage or so, which is not a lot when you compare it to like all those one shot moves that high dragons do. Of course you still gotta keep in mind that this is just standard difficulty and Naveed does have a 20% defense buff so Volk may be much stronger than we think. There are some interesting things that I want to point out from these clips. First off, the person playing in these clips is actually playing in solo mode. I don't know if that means anything, I'm pretty sure this will still be co-op content but judging from these clips, I think there's a good chance that standard Volk won't be that difficult to solo as long as you have proper equipment. Secondly, in the third clip on the right in the battle log, you can see that Joe got afflicted by sleep so that confirms that Volk afflicts sleep. This leads me to believe that these Agido bosses will deal the other affliction types opposite of the high dragons such as sleep, freeze, blind, and poison. That would make a lot of sense because it will allow us to be able to efficiently run the rest of the set of characters. Overall, I think it will be a fun fight. It looks like you really have to be on your toes for this one and be really proactive because Volk looks to be very agile and his attacks are pretty quick. The Dragalia Lost Twitter did tease us with some more Volk gameplay so I'm just going to insert it right here for you guys to watch. Behold the blade of purgation. We are Agito, fangs of the fairness. This is the final battle. Oh, Radiant Fall! Stop him good! You want to agree? Oh, that's a great color. Crystal and Blades. Quills. This one cuts me. I guess it's not my time yet. I do days! Hi, everyone. I can't fall in love. Let's see how quick now defeating Akido bosses will drop materials used to craft 6 star weapons. As you can see here it says Volk drops materials in order to craft the 6 star fire weapons. Looks like you can still use ingot bars on them for unbinds I'm still not sure how good these weapons are compared to high dragon tier 2's so we will have to wait and find out. What we do know is that these weapons will have skills that switches effects each time you use them so I think that refers to skill shift maybe or something similar to Cerise's skill too. The next announcement is the 6 tier mana circle update. It looks like the first batch of units includes a bunch of fire characters and 2 shadows. You can check out all the new skills and abilities these characters got on the Dragai Lost website which I'll put the link to it in the description below. I might go over them in a different video, maybe, maybe not, I don't know yet, but for now I'm just going to say that Yudin is looking pretty damn good. His updated skill 1 now afflicts burn and grants some dragon gauge. So not only can he enable burn punisher, but now he has a reliable way to ramp up and use his dragon claws ability. His skill 2 looks unchanged, but damage modifiers and the defense down could have gotten buffed, who knows. Dragon Claws looks like it has the same effect, however it's Dragon Claws 4 instead of the original 2 so he's going to get even more strength every time he transforms. Poen's Stun Res gives him 100% Stun Res and 15% strength for 10 seconds whenever Yudin gets hit by a stun attack. This is something that can be abused in Master's High Midgard as you can purposely let Yudin get hit by dashes or something small to activate the strength buff. Dragon's Dominance is no longer just an increased player EXP ability. It now has the ability to dispel one enemy buff with normal attacks in dragon form. This is extremely good for Master's High Midgard. All the Master's High Dragons, they gain 5% permanent defense every so often in the fight so Dragon's Dominance is a direct counter to that. 
I'm really liking this kit a lot. It looks like he's built to challenge the Master's High Midgard. I'm probably going to immediately try to 60 note him and Naveed whenever the update comes out. You guys know how much I love my sword characters, so maybe I'll make a showcase video for them whenever I get the chance. Next up is daily free tenfolds. This is normal from side games. You can summon up to 80 times for free during this event, so make sure that you log in every day and get those free pulls. This is also a great time to get your friends to start playing Dragalia Lost as well. Now for New Year's is the year of the rat, so we're getting some rat themed New Year's units. There's Chitotse, Hanabusa, Daikokuden, Nobunaga, and Mitsuhide. According to Dana Miners, uh, Chitotse is a 4 star light wand, Hanabusa is a welfare light blade, Daikokuden is the 5 star gacha dragon, Nobunaga is a 5 star fire blade, and then Mitsuhide is a 5 star light dagger. In addition to all this, we're also getting a welfare 5 star shadow dragon named Ibitsu. That's going to be the boss that we have to fight for the New Year's raid. Pretty cool stuff, although unfortunately for me, I don't really play Blaze all that much, so these units don't really interest me. I do, however, play Wands very often though. You guys know that I main Sword, and playing Sword sometimes is very demanding, so sometimes I don't feel like spamming C2 4 Strike, and in those situations, when I'm lazy, I just play Wand instead. So with that said, Chitose is the only one that I'm interested in summoning, and I hope she's like a light version of Noel. That would be great. I'm still going to try my best to summon all of them just because they are limited and I'm really hoping that the light dragon is a skill damage dragon. This is like the perfect opportunity to release one and side games will make tons of bank from it. I'll talk more about these units in the review video after their release. And the last thing I want to talk about is the Monster Hunter collab that is scheduled for the end of January. We all knew about this collab for a very long time because of the leaks. If you guys can remember, I made a video discussing all the leaks like a couple weeks ago. By the way, if you guys didn't know, Side Games actually took that video down from my channel like four days after it was up. But anyways, even though we knew about this collab for a very long time, I'm still pretty hyped about it because it's confirmed now. In this collab, you can get Rathalos from the event, which is no surprise. Rathalos is basically the Pikachu of Monster Hunter. He's the mascot. Hopefully, we'll get more than just Rathalos, but we'll have to wait to find out. Also, I hope this collab will be better than the Mega Man one. I know a lot of people complain that the Mega Man collab was kind of lackluster, so hopefully this Monster Hunter one exceeds expectations, especially because it's such a big game series. And that's it for all the notable announcements. Again, I didn't go over all the minor stuff, so I recommend that you check out the original video. Let me know what you guys think about the game after seeing Dragai Digest. I know there was like a good handful of people that were like ready to quit the game if Dragai Digest didn't like meet expectations. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Anyways, hope you guys have a great holiday week. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.